Every state in the U.S. has their own iconic food, but exactly how do they compare to each other? Let's settle that, shall we? This is the most iconic food from each of the 50 states, ranked. What does it mean to be the most iconic? Is it the most popular? Sometimes. Is it the most famous? Usually. But iconic really means that it makes a mark and an impact bigger than itself, usually becoming a cultural symbol. In other words, kind of a big deal. So with that, here are the 50 most iconic American foods, one from each of the 50 states. And of course, if you want to know any more about these iconic dishes, check out the individual videos on this channel. And don't forget to watch the most iconic sandwich episode. See if we got that list right, too. The Eaton with Joe production staff has tried them all. Eat bread and desserts and just get all fat and sassy. And here are the results. Woo! Utahns eat more jello than any other state, and green jello is their preferred flavor. What's the reason? Who cares? They love it and they're sticking by their decision. From the natural state comes one of the most unnatural iconic foods. The fried bologna sandwich may not make waves far outside of Arkansas, but this iconic Ozark sandwich is a staple in kitchens and restaurants throughout the area. The pork tenderloin sandwich is an Indiana staple. Bigger than your head, it's easy to see why some people swear by this big old slab of goodness. Add a pickle and a way too small bun, and you're all set. Deep fried dough balls with bits of chopped clam, these sweet and savory treats are a staple of the Rhode Island summer festival and food truck circuit. They may not have caught on nationwide, but clammy donut holes only have a limited appeal. With its roots going back to 1910, the National Cherry Festival in Traverse City, Michigan is just one more reason cherries are Michigan's most iconic food. Cherry pie, anyone? Pepperoni rolls were first made for West Virginia coal miners to bring with them since they couldn't exactly keep their lunches cold during the workday. A simple recipe made from dough, pepperonis, and cheese, they're simple but damn delicious. For such a small state, Delaware is home to a really big idea. Capriati's came up with the Bobby several decades ago, and this day after Thanksgiving Day sandwich is a classic. You don't even have to sit through Thanksgiving to enjoy it. The Aloha State loves acai bowls. One of the most famous acai bowl restaurants, Bonsai Bowls, was started by a Hawaiian native as a great way to eat healthy and beat the heat on Oahu's famous North Shore. Surf's up, dude! Forget about the Buckeye. Nobody outside of Ohio even knows or cares what those are. The Banana Split was born in Ohio, unless you ask someone from Pennsylvania, and was America's favorite ice cream treat for quite a while. Don't forget the whipped cream. Try going to any family gathering in North Dakota and not seeing a crock pot full of Sloppy Joe goodness. Slop some in a bun and throw on a pickle and you have yourself an icon. Connecticut is home of the Subway sandwich chain. Subway is the biggest sub sandwich chain in the world with over 40,000 locations in 104 countries. Eat fresh indeed. Thomas Jefferson brought mac and cheese to Virginia from France and it quickly became hot cuisine back in the day. I wonder if Old Tom would prefer elbows or spirals. The South Carolina Low Country Shrimp Boil is a great way to pass the time in the summer. Corn, potatoes, Old Bay, and huge jumbo shrimp. The only thing left to do here is dig in. The large German population in South Dakota offers lots of choices for local iconic foods, but the cooking stands out above the rest. Enjoy with vanilla ice cream to truly get the most out of your cooking experience. Chicken fried steak is a great way to get the most out of an otherwise unimpressive cut of steak. Slather the steak in the same batter you would use to deep fry chicken, and you can see why it's such a big hit and an Oklahoma icon. Wyoming is home to Taco John's, Old Faithful, and the lowest population of any state. Taco John's now has nearly 400 locations in 22 states. Well done for a taco restaurant started by a local gringo just 50 years ago. The Rocky Mountain Oyster Festival at the Rock Creek Lodge in Clinton, Montana is a local legend. Didn't think you could create cuisine from bull testicles? Think again, my friend. Slice them thin and fry them up. The Reuben sandwich was invented at the Blackstone Hotel in Omaha, Nebraska in the 1800s. Corned beef, sauerkraut, Russian dressing, and rye bread. It's truly unique and a very American sandwich. Sorry, New York, but this is the best use of corned beef we've ever tasted. The pulled pork sandwich is the poster child for North Carolina barbecue. Served with a tangy vinegar sauce and coleslaw, this sandwich is truly a regional icon. 
The shrimp cocktail was one of the first signature dishes ever served by a Las Vegas casino. Over 25 million servings later, the Golden Nugget Casino remains the gold standard for Vegas shrimp cocktails. Apples are a staple of autumn in New England, and New Hampshire's apple cider donuts are a fantastic way to enjoy this iconic fruit. Enjoy the great taste of apples with none of the health benefits. There's a reason that Elvis hopped on his jet and flew to Glendale, Colorado in the middle of the night. The Fool's Gold Loaf is a local legend that Elvis made famous. Peanut butter, blueberry jelly, bacon and butter, is food fit for a king? Well, this king. Cuban immigrants flooded into Florida in the 1800s and brought along with them one of the greatest sandwiches you'll ever eat. The Cubano is loaded with meats, cheese, pickles, and mustard. Enjoy one with a big fat cigar. Kansas is home to the oldest chain restaurant in the country, White Castle. Iconic burgers, iconic building, and an iconic nickname, the original slider is a little slice of heaven. No doubt that the most famous food to come out of Arizona is the chimichanga. It's a staple at southwestern theme restaurants throughout the U.S. Arizona takes real pride at being the birthplace. So they got that going for them. Which is nice. Mm. Roasted green chilies and hatch chilies are legendary in New Mexico. Some are roasted in their green unripened state and others are left to ripen to a deep red and made into a sauce. Number one. Let's face it, the greatest food to come out of the state of Oregon isn't served on a plate. With more breweries per capita than any other state, beer is Oregon's entry into the most iconic food list. Who are we to argue? Memphis barbecue is all about the slow smoke and the rub. You can add sauce if you want, but the best Memphis ribs don't need any. They stay nice and moist by smoking all day long and hanging out in their own rendered fat. Ain't that a pretty picture? Massachusetts is home to Dunkin' Donuts. With over 11,000 stores in 33 countries, it's the biggest donut chain in the world and it's not even close. Now they're knocking on Starbucks store trying to take over the coffee world. Life goals. There aren't many better ways to enjoy a summertime picnic than a good old-fashioned Maryland crab boil. Boil it up, spread it out on a picnic table, and dig in. Just pour it out, man. Sorry, St. Louis, but Kansas City Barbecue takes the prize in Missouri. The sauce is what sets Kansas City Barbecue apart from all other barbecues, and it's easy to see why. Holy Moses. You're not going to drive very far in Wisconsin without driving by a cheese curd stand at the next highway exit. And for good reason. Cheese curds are awesome and one of the best things you can get from a food truck festival or state fair in Wisconsin. Wisconsin Food Pyramid. And ketchup, by the way, is the correct answer. The Philly cheesesteak is a regional icon in Pennsylvania. Thinly sliced ribeye, onions, peppers, and provolone piled high in a crusty loaf. If you really want to get nuts, some of the old school sandwich lovers swear that Cheese Whiz is the actual cheese of choice. Classy Philadelphia. The French dip sandwich was invented in Los Angeles and is now on so many restaurant menus across the U.S. it's hard to count. Tender roast beef, cheese, and onions, but most importantly, the au jus for dipping. Iconic. When people think of a sub sandwich, it's most likely an Italian sub that they're thinking about. No matter what you call it, hoagie, hero, or sub, it's a New Jersey Italian icon, just like this guy. The most iconic food from the peach state? Peaches, of course. More specifically, peach cobbler, a staple of Southern hospitality and one of the best desserts you'll ever gorge yourself on. Awesome. Iowa produces more corn than any other state, so we give Iowa corn on the cob as their most iconic food. We think it's best made on the grill, but we'll eat it any way you can make it. Washington produces more apples than all other states combined. The best way to enjoy an apple? How about mixed with sugar and water and piled high in a doughy crust and served with ice cream? It won't keep the doctor away, but that's not really the point now, is it? Alaskan king crab is an experience like no other. Alaska harvests more king crab than any other state and exports it all over the world. Iconic in its home state and enjoyed everywhere. And so cute! Vermont produces more maple syrup than all other states combined. Try some side-by-side -side any other mass-produced syrup and you'll quickly see why real maple syrup is so well-regarded and iconic. A great way to show pancakes how much you truly love them. Idaho's potato production is so well known, it became its own brand. While we like poutine is the best way to enjoy them, we're pretty sure that most people would rather just sit down and enjoy their favorite french fries. 
except curly fries. That's just wrong. Barbecue is king in Texas, and Texas barbecue means beef brisket, slow smoked all day long and sliced thin. Enjoy your brisket with smoked sausage, barbecue ribs, and anything else they can throw on the spit. The Texas meat sweats are very real and a sight to behold. Maine lobster can be enjoyed in dozens of ways, but the lobster roll is something special. A soft bun overfilled with lump lobster meat, mayo, chives, and green onions. It's simple and so decadent you'll forget that the lobster is basically just a huge bug. The peanut butter sandwich is one of the most iconic American sandwiches ever made. Although Georgia may produce the most peanuts, George Washington Carver put peanuts on the map in Alabama during his time at Tuskegee University. The National Peanut Festival in Dothan shows Alabama's love for these nuts. The Buffalo Wing is named after the city where it was invented. In 1964, at the Anchor Bar in Buffalo, New York, Teresa Bellissimo created the original sauce that started it all. Despite all the good food to come out of New York City, the Buffalo Wing is easily the state's most iconic food. They are truly a global phenomenon and served on every continent. Yes, even Antarctica. Chicago's deep dish pizza is like no other pizza out there. So iconic, you can't swing a dead cat in downtown Chicago without hitting a deep dish pizza joint. Want to see sparks fly? Just try telling a New Yorker that this pizza is better than theirs. Kentucky sour mash bourbon is world famous. If you like bourbon, you most likely have a favorite cocktail. But don't forget to try Kentucky bourbon balls during the holidays. You'll never look at a bottle of Maker's Mark the same way again. One of the most truly American foods on this list, southern fried chicken is hard to beat. Mississippi is home to so many of the best fried chicken joints in the country, it's hard to count. And when it's done right, it's perfect. Cajun cooking is so unique to Louisiana, it's hard to pick just one dish as the biggest icon. But since Louisiana named gumbo as their state cuisine, who are we to argue? Filled with all that's good in life, eat it up with cornbread and enjoy the sweats. And the number one most iconic food from the 50 states? The land of 10,000 hot dishes has one hot dish that rises above all others. The tater tot hot dish is an absolute Minnesota legend. While some people have their favorite tweaks that make it in their own family recipe, the most well-renowned recipe includes ground beef and cream of mushroom soup on the bottom, layered veggies, then tater tots on top and baked to a perfect crispy brown. This is comfort food at its best and the definition of iconic. Yeah, I may be biased, but that doesn't mean I'm wrong. How did we do? Agree? Disagree? Put your comments in the comment section below and remember to subscribe if you want to continue to see more pure entertainment just like this. Thanks for watching. And you always knew it was going to be mom's tater tot hot dish, right? I mean, come on.